June 26th, the Cardinals will take on the Pirates and to commemorate the final season of Bush Stadium, the Redbirds and BJC Healthcare have teamed up to bring you the first 25,000 fans, ages 16 and over, a specially designed cap that's featuring the final season logo. And for tickets, you can always log on to the Cardinals website at stlcardinals.com or give them a call tomorrow at 421-2400. Quite a few Cardinal fans have made the trip up here. That's a great town. Yeah, including John Kastner and his family. I owe a big debt of gratitude to John and it, Kastner, who, uh, along with a very talented and accommodating uh, travel agent, got me on my flight yesterday. Because there was a long, long line, and I was way in the back. Well, that's good to know. You know, it's, you made it here. As you could go into an international flight. I couldn't use the uh, the computer screen. Oh, okay. So I was uh, a little bit tardy. John helped me get it. Get there with plenty of time to spare for the plane that was late. A ball and two strikes on Shea Hillenbrand outside from Carpenter. Remember Carpenter's had trouble with Hillenbrand, but his other nemesis, Catalanano, he struck out. Carpenter looked sharp early on. He has struck out three of the first four he has seen. You can email us here in Toronto if you'd like. And here in the booth at foxsports.com on MSN, the keyword Cardinals booth. Always enjoy getting the emails throughout the game. Strikeout number three. And it brings in Eric Hinsky, who's hitting 259. I remember one time it was supposed to be the big three. For Toronto was going to be Carpenter, Escobar, and last night's starter, Halliday. And Halliday's the only one left. He's outstanding, but now they're seeing what Carpenter can do. Escobar is on the disabled list with Anaheim. And for a while here in Toronto, he was their closer, then moved back into the starting rotation, signed as a free agent with Anaheim. And of course, Carpenter left in 2002. After that season was done, he was the Jays' opening day starter back in 2002 at Fenway Park, and he was hurt in that game. Toronto said goodbye to him. Cardinals scooped him up. And the Cardinals very wise in knowing that they were going to get probably no return that first year, but a very economical contract for year two. And now it's really paid off because he's uh, agreed to a contract extension for a couple years with the Redbirds after this year. Chris has talked about in his time here in Toronto, learning from guys like Woody Williams, Roger Clemens, Pat Henkin, David Wells. A swing and a miss. How sharp is Carpenter here tonight? He struck out four of the first five he has seen. And don't think for a second he doesn't have a little something extra for Toronto this evening. Well, not only that, but he's got it under control. So adrenaline is a fantastic thing if you can channel it to use it to your benefit. Look at the 12 to 6 drop on that breaking ball. Bouncing up there, but getting a big league hitter. Hensky wasn't even close. Missed it by a half foot. Here's the designated hitter, Aaron Hill. Batting 333. Good curveball again from Chris Carpenter. It's a get ahead breaking ball that he can change speeds on that later on in the count he can make it a strikeout pitch by throwing it harder on base percentage of 395 for Hill and Carpenter working ahead in the count nothing in two let's go back to Hinsky's at bat in the curveball that 